Hey y'all, welcome back to Tan's Kitchen. Y'all, I'm so sorry for being in my A, y'all, but today we are making chicken pot pie the good way, y'all. Make sure that y'all subscribe, like, comment, share this video, y'all. Let's get into it. So you'll need two potatoes, rustic potatoes is what I'm using, some celery, you're going to use some mixed veggies, the one with the corn and the uh, peas and green beans. And I bought a rotisserie chicken, so I did not cook a chicken. I just bought a rotisserie chicken. You're going to need some cream of mushroom. The croissant dough sheets is what I'll be using for my crust. And I'll also be using some heavy whipping cream as well. So we're gonna start off by going ahead and peeling our potatoes. So just peel those up. And I just use a paring knife to peel my potatoes, but you can use whatever you want to, and also you can use whatever potatoes you want to. But I use rusted, two large rusted potatoes. So now you'll see me going ahead and cutting up those potatoes. I dice them up in little cubes like that just so it can um, cook faster. Plus, I don't want um, to mash my potatoes up into my chicken pot pie. I want them to be just like that. Um, you can probably make them smaller even. But anyways, you want to cut up your onion and your celery. I'm just using like three or four stalks of celery. Not too much because we're already uh, adding more veggies. And you see there that I went ahead and diced up the chicken. I did not shred it. I diced it up because I want chunks of chicken in my chicken pot pie. So now you see me cooking, cooking my veggies, which is my celery and my onions in my Dutch oven. So I'm just going to saute them until they are as tender as I need them to be. So that's what you see me doing there. Now we're gonna add in that rotisserie chicken that we diced up earlier. Just add that on into the same pot with your veggies. And you're just gonna let that um, cook as well. Just stir that all together, let it cook. Add in some seasons, I'm using some garlic powder, some black pepper. I'm gonna use that as well. I'm not using too much salt for this uh, dish because that cream of mushroom has a lot of salt in it already. But I did use um, a little sea salt, maybe about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of sea salt. And then we're just gonna mix that on together. but. You season to your taste and to your liking. Just taste as you go. Now you see me added in those frozen veggies. Some of it has thawed out since since I got it because, yeah. But anyway, stir that all together. Then add on your cream of mushroom. And then we're going to stir that all together as well. This is going to make our pie filling. If you didn't realize before, this is going to be our pie filling. And you see how stiff it is. It's not, I mean, it's moving, but we don't want it to be that thick, as you can see. But you want to just mix it around and just look with your eyes, see what you prefer, the thickness you prefer. But... In order to loosen it up for me, I went ahead and added about a cup of the heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to mix that on together just like that. Usually, um, you would add cream of chicken as well. But because I forgot to get cream of chicken, I just added in um, some chicken bouillon flavoring. About a um, tablespoon of that, and then just mix that all together to just give it a more of a chicken uh, taste there. And then you just keep mixing, adding more heavy cream if you need to, just based on your consistency you want. 
Now you see me here. I rolled out one of those croissant um, sheets. Now I'm going to, um, after I've drained my potatoes, I'm going to add them to that mixture. And then we're going to stir that all together. Like I said, you can dice your tomatoes. Uh, I mean, your potatoes. Potatoes, y'all. I'm crazy. Potatoes up as small as you want to. I probably should have diced mine a little bit smaller, but it was still good either way. Also, with your potatoes, you do not want them to cook all the way tender because it's going to cook in the oven. So, yeah, don't cook them all the way um, tender. Just get them just right. And then, um, because it's going to cook in the oven. So, this our mixture, y'all. We're going to add that mixture on top of one of our croissant sheets in a casserole dish. And just spread that out evenly onto your uh, casserole pan. Just go ahead and add as much or as little as you want to. Now we're going to top it with another one of those uh, croissant sheets. So you see me there trying to roll it out. Yeah, it did get a little sticky, but I mean, it came together at the end. So we're just going to work with it and continue to roll it out just like that. And then I added in, I didn't feel myself adding in like the, I took a fork and um, on, along the sides of the dough, I kind of pressed down uh, just to make a little design like a pie. And then I put two uh, little pockets in the middle. And then we're going to add on an egg wash, wash, which is two egg yolks and water. We're going to bake this on 350 for 50 minutes. And it should come out looking just like this. Real golden, real crispy, y'all. This pie pie was the best pie pie that I have ever had. I think it's because of the croissant. Um dough that I use instead of just the regular pie crust dough because I don't like that but I used the croissant dough and it came out so so good I loved the taste of this pie pie also when you pull it out the oven you just want it to sit for about 15 minutes just to um set up a little bit and then you'll be able to enjoy it I hope y'all like this recipe let me know what you think of it in the comments and come back for the next one. Bye.